people get caught on into learning the languages whereas it's really important to understand the deep underlying concepts of computer science hey welcome back everyone i'm ishan sharma and uh, today i'll be talking to you about the five mistakes that programmers make that actually cause them to uh, becoming a bad programmer or having bad experiences in programming or taking a lot longer time to learn to code right this is uh, something that i have seen my college friends do and something that i have experienced in my own journey as i have uh, as i have learned programming languages like python and javascript and java and so today i'll be sharing with you all of those uh, you know mistakes that people make and i hope you uh, will be able to learn something from this video all right let's get started so the number one thing that people uh, make a mistake is not making projects i see this happen to almost like 90% of the people that are learning to program that uh, i have met and so what they do basically is that they try to learn a language and then they learn about its syntax and then they move on to another language and uh, without learning how to uh, you know make a project on it right they just don't use uh, that language to build a project i think that is just not a good way to uh, learn to code you have to have a goal right that is why you're learning that uh, language for so some people just look up uh, what are the best languages to learn in 2020 and then they start learning that language and uh, i think it's really important to have a goal in mind like what do you want to build you want to build a machine learning model well uh, probably you should uh, start with python um, or if you want to make a web app well then you should probably start learning javascript right um, i think it's really important to make projects as much as possible and i think this is what most people don't understand early on when they are starting to learn to code all right and uh, this is actually something that leads to uh, something called as tutorial hell in which people are just you know looking up for tutorials learning things and then trying to make something and it doesn't work then they actually go back to the tutorial learn uh, from it and then they start making it doesn't work and so i think what what's really important is to take that leap of faith that many people uh, don't do and so yeah i think that is something that uh, you have to make sure that you make uh, enough projects while you're learning to code now the second mistake that i see a lot of people make is not reading the documentation for uh, most of the languages out there they have a really good uh, well written documentation on their website right maybe that would be javascript maybe that would be python i would really highly encourage you all to go to the uh, to the documentation and you will actually find that that a lot of things that you uh, you know make uh, functions for they are already built into the python library the standard library and so you can actually just just use them instead of writing that whole block of code that saves a lot of your time if you just have that uh, habit of looking up into the documentation and you will actually learn a lot of new things in the documentation that uh, maybe let's say you're you're learning from some instructor on udemy or uh, youtube that person might not have remembered that into his particular uh, tutorial and so we'll, you will be able to learn everything that that language has to offer and i think that is really important to understand because most people just uh, just you know understand the language from that instructor's perspective and they don't delve deeper into it by reading the documentation and so i think that's really important to understand start uh, have a habit of reading documentations guys this will take you uh, a lot farther into you know software development and coding and programming in general now the third mistake that i see a lot of programmers make is not having a proper road map for whatever they want to learn and i think that is really important to understand because if you don't have deadlines if you don't have a, a game plan for uh, your whole journey of learning to code you can pretty much be lost into the world of programming because you know you might uh, look at something else and you might get distracted into learning that and leaving this particular thing that you were doing from the last week or maybe you start procrastinating and uh, you're just not you know uh, putting in that much enough hours and that are required for you to learn something as quickly as possible and some of the ways to actually cure that would be to use uh, there are multiple hashtags on twitter called as maybe 100 days of code or 30 days 30 websites if you're into website development or th- 100 days of ml code i think is really amazing and also something that brad traversy who has his own youtube channel talks about is 7 days 7 websites these are challenges that people have so that you don't uh, procrastinate and you are on your track of uh, learning that particular language and making projects every single day so you understand exactly how that programming language works and how uh, it is used to build real world projects right so i think that's really important to understand now the fourth mistake that i think a lot of people make is uh, learning many languages early on in their you know learning journey of coding this is something that a lot of people do in my college as well i see them you know learning about uh let's say they just learned python for one week then they switch to javascript and then they switch to i don't know java and then they switch to 
Kotlin and so I think this is just not a good way to do it. Uh, you have to understand that for any programming language you have to devote a particular amount of time, you have to learn everything about that language, you have to have an understanding about some of their uh, libraries uh, that are available for that language and then you should also be able to um, build some projects using it and only then you can move on to another language. Uh, I think uh, people get caught on into learning the languages whereas it's really important to understand the deep underlying concepts of computer science and uh, you know things like object oriented programming and you know how does uh, programming languages work i think that is really important to understand rather than uh, thinking about oh okay i learned java now i learn javascript now i learn python now i learn c sharp c and all the languages out there right uh, i think that is really important to understand uh, it's, it's not it, once you once you understand one language it doesn't take you much time to learn the second one right then then you can learn the third one um, they just only differ in the syntax and most of them are actually pretty alike. They have a, a little differences here and there, but mostly they are the same things. So I think that is one thing to keep in mind. Uh, by the way guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure that you give a huge thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And let me know what language are you learning right now in the comment section below. All right, now the fifth uh, problem that I think a lot of people uh, have is that they have this state of learning passively. Right? They are a passive learner. What that means is that they would learn uh, coding passively. And that is such a big myth that people have. Coding is a sport, uh, I should say, that is active learning. Right? You have, to, you have to apply it as soon as you learn it. This is something that is really important to understand in software development. Uh, developers that are actually really good in software development, uh, they are really good at, at adapting, at learning new things, at, at implementing those things. Right? They'll just learn about a particular thing, they'll learn about the syntax, and then they'll quickly apply it to some project. That is something that is really important. Most of you guys just, just just go into a tutorial, they just watch a tutorial like a movie and then they, and maybe they just paste the same code and then they think that it will work somehow magically. And that I think is really uh, dangerous for you in the long run. Try making projects and actually try doing this. Have like, let's say you have a laptop window, half of that should be like your YouTube or your Udemy or wherever that the tutorial is there. And the other half should be uh, your code editor. That could be Sublime, VS Code, whatever you're using. And simultaneously, as the person is saying, do that in your core editor, right? And then uh, occasionally just pause that and then try implementing something else using whatever that person has taught. I think that is a, a really good way to learn to program and that is something that I do myself and it has really been helpful for me. Right guys, so uh, yeah, these were the five mistakes that I think a lot of people make. And this is just something that takes them a lot longer to learn to code and uh, this is just unproductive and so I thought I'd actually point these things out. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you learned something from this. Uh, let me know which is one mistake that you are making uh, while learning to code in the comment section below. Right? Thanks for watching the video till the very end. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.